Hey everybody, thanks for staying up with the channel. Uh, here we have uh, a special episode, I guess. I teased this a while back and there were some comments saying, hey, yeah, uh, do that, that sounds great. Now I just wanna point out, I don't know what this is right here. I just moved recently. It's not a, uh, it's not any kind of human uh, fluid. <laughs> this thing's only ever been folded up and put away. I don't think it's toothpaste either. It might be some like uh, super glue. But uh, I literally just film these videos back to back, so it's not like I'm over here stressing about it or have comments on it. I just thought that was weird. I looked over right now and thought there was a reflection off of the handkerchief. And I thought, well, that's not physically possible. So anyways, uh, back to the subject at hand. Uh, like I said, people wanted to know about packing puzzles. Like as a whole, they wanted to see like a genre of puzzles addressed and looked at. And it seems like right now I have some really great um, examples of all the kinds, really. So why let this? Why don't we just jump into it? Uh, right out here in front of us right now is Rescue. This is actually a sequential discovery puzzle based on a Boucher design called a Visitor Queue or Viz Queue. And uh, the goal of this one is to release these pieces somehow and move them all around inside the box, but they don't come out. This would be a packing puzzle you'd pack into a box and it'd be very tricky. Uh, but that's not the goal of this one. The pieces aren't supposed to come in or out. I just showed it because they're really getting uh, into some unique areas here where I wouldn't classify some puzzles as just like one genre. So this is just something really cool. Uh, off to the side for now. So let's talk packing puzzles. You, most people with packing puzzles are going to start off with like the most simplistic kinds. I don't have anything simple here. Uh, they don't last long if they're simple. Uh, this one right here, though, is one of my favorites as far as like a two-dimensional packing tray. Uh, it's called New Tiles. It's by Boucher, made by Nothing Yet Designs. It has these um, nine pieces, and they all fit in here somehow. I've never done it. Um, you know, you got these weird angles, and a lot of these kind of puzzles will have a trick to them. Something that when you go, oh, because see how like the pieces are just big enough to not leave any real room here. And then you got pieces like this, you know, um, they're all, except that one, like it, it works somehow. I've done this one for a while now. Uh, my personal thought is I think I'm going to have to find a way to like evenly get them all to line up that way and fill in the gaps. So it's like that more, uh, but that would probably be closer to figuring it out then. Uh, but this is like an acrylic tray on laminated wood, fake wood, you know, uh, laser cut. Uh, probably sold for like 25 or 30 bucks uh, and totally worth it. This thick acrylic is nice. It has a nice tactile feel to like get in the tray. And I personally love puzzles like this because I love trial and error. I'm not thinking about the puzzle. I'm not really trying to solve it. I'm just taking pieces out, putting them in, fitting them. Does it work? Nope. Dump it out. Do it again. I'm usually working, talking to someone. I have my mind on other things. Keeps my hands busy. Uh, recently, I've gotten into Inari for that, and I, I jumped in deep, not because of the one in my hand, but I mean, I've about had all of them on the way at this point, and uh, I don't really know much about this stuff, so i uh, going to learn. That's better fidgeting. That wasn't a spoiler either, just pushing a piece. That's all that thing is, is pushing pieces. So that's a tr packing puzzle. Uh, I have another one here that ups the ante a little bit. So this is a Boucher design as well, by the same people, Nothing Yet Designs. And this one's called Sachiko. And uh, the idea is to get the coin in here with all the pieces in here. And there's four of them. So it seems like it'd be really easy. There's like this weird top part. Uh, and they all go in and out the same way. There's a big gap right here, and uh, they lever they lever out, basically. So it's not hard at all to come up with an assembly with these pieces. Uh, the, the trick is maneuvering them around in the tray to get that assembly into it. I guess it won't fall out that way. Um, and then this one, obviously, you would just do like that as well. Um, oh, there we go. So empty. It's got a cool look uh, and stuff to go off of. And then you got these pieces here, which aren't hard to make a, you know, like a 
thing out of. Not at all. Like anybody, could, any jackass could sit down and do this. Well, but you know what I mean? That's not the point. Uh, the point is that it's very difficult to get these all to line up with only one point of entry. And that brings us into restricted entry packers, which you're gonna see a lot of in a second. Because those are honestly the most impossible and unique ones. Uh, ones where you have like, sure, it's not too hard to get the pieces together, but can you get them in here that way? That's the question. So this is Sachiko. Um, Boucher, while French, uh, lives in Japan. So a lot of his titles and names are gonna have a, uh, a uh, Japanese feel. So these three, this was made by Cubic Dissection and Eric Fuller added a lot of like SD elements to this one, uh, but it's still Boucher's design. So he's on all three of these. I'm gonna look and see real quick if I have any other of his designs real quick. Uh, no, uh, but staying with the uh, tray packer thing, we go up into like another level here. This is like a Uesaka puzzle. It's not, it's made by uh, a team that uses like angels and demons or something like that, but it's acrylic. Uh, the tray is very cheap. Um, I'm gonna make my own. It's called Eight Cats, and it's like all these pieces, they got an awesome color, I'll give them that. Uh, the pieces all have certain edges, almost like a jigsaw here, and the idea is to figure out how to get them all in the tray. Uh, this one's a trial and error as well. I've been having fun, but it does come with an extra little thing here. It comes, well, it came to me not solved because it kind of came loose in the bag, uh, but it says it comes solved. And then this thing here says solution, don't open until you solve me. And I don't know, I asked about it because I was like, it feels like pieces in here. And I asked someone, I was like, well, what is it? The idea is just to get these pieces out and then it works. And they were like, no, it's for a different challenge, I guess. So in the last bit of the tray thing, and I've got a tray of my own I'm going to show off towards the end. So we'll bounce back to this. This is a fractal jigsaw tray. Uh, the reason I'm bringing it up with the tray ones is because these all pieces, if you look closely, there's some that have cuts through them. These are probably like 20, 30 pieces here. And they're all in these matching type of shapes and the idea is to get them all back in here. The reason I'm not pulling them out or doing any of it is because it's an absolute nightmare to solve one of these. Uh, but it is like a packing tray, very much so. And you can get these pretty cheap and they're cut into actual wood here. This isn't a laminate. This is like a, a thin cut of, um, I think this is purple heart actually. So here we go, moving on. Our next one, which we're going to spend the most time on now, it's pretty much going to be the rest of these puzzles, is Restricted Opening Packers. Uh, and then after that, we'll do Moving Voxel Packers, like my two lit. So, Restricted Opening. Oh, wait, I have one more packer. So this one, we're moving into 3D. And this one is Fano Blocks. And I brought this up because this one's based on math. I suck at math. But the idea of these is there's matching pieces, like two of each. You get them all in the box to the top. Never did it. Uh, and that all the pieces share a edge in common. So yeah, so like these two match here. So I, you just pick up any two pieces. These two match here, right? Uh, they don't match here. Uh, they don't match that way, right? And so that's the whole gist of this um, that way. And even this little fuckers, I don't really care for these guys, but, you know, see, they all will do that with each other. And because of that, I guess it's supposed to help you realize how to put them all in here. Uh, but that doesn't help me. I'm not a huge uh, nerd. Sorry, I was kidding. But uh, I am a nerd, but I, I don't do a lot of math stuff. I'm not really into it. Um, that's why I pay people to do the math stuff for me in my puzzles. Uh, handsomely, too, to be fair. Uh, 20%. Let's see. Now I just want to get them in here so I can put it away. <laughs> I'll, I'll just clean up at the end. You don't want to see this shit. But yeah, that's what it would be like a... Um, it would fall more in line with, with this one I'm about to show you. This one's an absolute mess. This is Euclid for Kids. Don't let the name fool you. There's a Euclid, Euclid for Kids, and a Euclid for Nick. And one called Fermat. They're all, they're all made by a Dr. Volker Lattison. I, I'm sure I butchered that. 
This one I like because the wood's pretty awesome. <clears throat> oh, geez, sorry about the light. Uh, a Padawak again, yuck, right? Bottom top, this, this is so much of it out there. Uh, acacia, which is also used here. And uh, I think this is mahogany. I can't really remember off the top of my head right now. Um, it doesn't seem shiny enough to be. But um, yeah, so three blocks in a box, that's it. And supposedly by them changing the wood types, it made it harder to solve. That really kind of baffled me. But this is a, this is a uh, box with a um, lip. And the goal is to get all of these in there, dance them around each other and close it. Or not close it, but get them under the lip. So um, I can do that much but then you have like that. Uh, it's math based, like figuring it out. And when people figure it out, they're like, oh my goodness. So speaking of which, like that, this is supposed to be the king of Packers. This is 4L. There's 4L blocks. They're not matching though. Uh, I'm not gonna take out the bottom ones just cause, uh, let's see here. See how they're, they're matching there. That's the only way they go together um, is like this. Uh, but you have these four blocks in this restricted opening. And uh, it goes down here, 4L. Uh, it's won some awards. People swear this is the best one. Like out of everything we're talking about tonight, this is the best of the bunch. So I have not solved it. I haven't solved a lot of these. Uh, but this one, supposedly when you solve it, you're just like, whoa, amazing. Uh, this one, they keep saying think outside the box as if like there's an opening on the box. But there's not. Uh, another restricted packer made by the same guy that made this one. Well, that's an argument about whether he makes them or not. Uh, this is slide packing. I just got this recently. Uh, there's only four pieces here, and all you got to do is get them in here and shut the box. But kind of like the two lid I made, uh, this thing moves, and you got to move them around it to get it in because it's only going to hold two voxels. So the fourth piece got to get in here somehow. So that means pieces go in... They like fall under, slide over, stuff like that. I really can't tell you because I just got it and I have no clue. Uh, but it is a challenge. This thing was like probably like 60 bucks. Long story, my order got canceled and then they ran out. Uh, so I had to pay 200 for it. But they've gone for like 500 So that's a good investment. Same guy made this one since we're on a roll here. This one I think is the best of his last drop. Um, these are five pentomino. They call it uh, black box tetraminos. Uh, I probably don't know what I'm talking about as far as like the, uh, whether tetra and penta mean different things and why. Uh, they look like a pentamino set to me. And uh, it kind of falls in a theme that I'm about to get into real quick. Uh, but you have the pentaminos here. And uh, they have to go into this box here. And it's got a, a 12 by 2. Uh, fill and then you got to get this lid on and it's interesting because of the shallowness of it You have to like figure out a really good order To like get these to weave over each other and allow everything in that's really the mystery here So it's similar <clears throat> in scope to the next one. I'm going to show you but then completely different And that would be this one. This is another moving voxel one. This is boxy Cubic dissection just put it out. I don't even know if I can move it right now but the uh, moving, so it's it's wrapped around a dowel rod, this one, and it's magnetized right there. And the idea is to get it shut with all the pieces inside of it, as usual, right? Uh, it's got these uh, quarter sawn sycamore pieces. There we go, they're all out. And it's a pentamino set as well, that's what I was getting at, they're just thicker. And uh, the box like this, and you have a uh, padwalk dowel rod that's kind of like moon cut. And it's beautiful. Yellow heart spline, Padawak. This is Shedua, pure mixed with walnut. The person that got this to me didn't like that mix. I don't know why. Uh, here's the course. I like these. This is what I actually like the most. Uh, very satisfying. Very tricky. I haven't, haven't really got a solid game plan on it yet. Uh, now, we're just going to get in some oddballs here. And then uh, we'll be done. Uh, this one right here is Playboy 2. This is uh, pink oak, padwalk again. Uh, it only has four pieces. These padwalk pieces are very dense though and cut real well. They slide in and out real nice. 
uh, sharp. And you can see how smooth that is against each other. Uh, the idea is to get them all into this, but it's like an optical illusion, everybody thinks. A lot of people have had trouble wrapping their heads around it, but honestly, you're just making a diamond, guys. It's, it's not that deep. It's not a squash square or anything retarded. It's just a diamond shape. So, uh, let's see here. I was going to whip one together for you real quick because I do it all the time. I just haven't figured out how to get one in the box. Um, yeah, so, but it's a diamond shape, you know? You just have to get it into a diamond and fit it. And usually when I get the diamond shape, I'll have like one or two voxels sticking up. So I'm sure it's for here or something. <clears throat> Another oddball one. This is from mine as well. This is 4L Basket. So I had 5L Basket and solved it. Uh, this one has little holes though. So it's part of the movement, I'm sure. Get a piece in, slide it over, poke it out, move another piece around. Uh, he never explains his wood choices, but I would imagine this Potawak here. Uh, these pieces are walnut, and eh, I don't really know what this. It's probably one of those ones you never think of, like Makuaba or something. Uh, it's supposed to be really good, but not as lauded as 4L itself, and I believe the 5L box and basket are more popular than this one. Uh, but I've heard it's got like a laugh out loud solution. Uh, and then here is a classic, absolute killer. This is Tube It In. It's by Will Strybos. Uh, built by Cubic Dissection. This I've had pretty much all of the ones they've released in the last three years, two years. Um, and this one's my favorite. Purple Heart, Ash, and then inside of it is all this. A bunch of pieces, 14 exotic wood pieces to be exact. And they come out, there's pieces falling in and out and up. And then you get it all back together. And it's not hard one bit, especially when you take it apart and you kind of know what it looks like. Um, but it is very satisfying to take apart and put back together and just look at the different wood pieces. And they're kind of like wood chips, honestly, because uh, they're so small. But then you have the magnet here, and it's just satisfying. See? And this one, I used to do this one, like, almost every day. It's just satisfying. It's a good thing to carry around, a good thing to share with people. This is all around just like a really classic packing puzzle. Here's the final one. Definitely not a standout, but I do like Black Palm. Uh, this is an unpacking puzzle. So you got to try to get these balls out. So there is the reverse of the norm. And then here's something I'm working on. I'll give you guys a sneak peek. I have some 3D printed pieces because we've been moving like the design around. But this is Pirate King. It's going to be in a barnyard laminate. Uh, the pieces will be acrylic with boats on them still. Uh, this won't be here. I will have most likely 3D printed the shimmery blue here. And where there's not gems, I'll have like waves and stuff. And then you have the shanty town, the boats, and the ships. And then we're going to uh, get a leather cover for it. And uh, the goal, there's five challenges. One for each of these gem colors. And the goal would be like, for this gold one, it's a final challenge. You have to get the shanty town, the boat, and a ship all on gold bricks. So, like, this is two voxels. It's got to be two voxels. You only have to have two for the shanty town, though. And then other ones will be like, you know, two boats. Two boats and a ship. A shanty town and a ship. Stuff like that working your way up. And there's gems all through here. And you're a pirate with a map. You know, a wooden map that you carry of your treasure. And you're sending your ships out to get it. So, that's still in the works with uh, Finn from Nothing Yet Designs. Uh, we're going to wrap this one up soon, though. Uh, it's very thick and big. It's eight by eight inches. And these are really thick, like five millimeters, but it feels awesome. And uh, it'll have a little bit more theming in it when it's done, like as far as the look and color. Oops. But I thought I'd sneak peek that one because it is coming soon. Uh, and my idea was to make it around the time Sundial is out. We have more stuff to add to like your pirate themed puzzles. But here's a mountain of puzzle packing stuff. Uh, that I will not have to clean up. And uh, I hope that helps you get an idea of like what's out there in the world of puzzling as far as packing. And packing is probably one of the uh, most popular and easy to do puzzle uh, things to get into. Oh, one last thing. I don't think I have the extra block on me, but this one I made my own copy of. And this is new melting blocks. There's eight blocks in here filling it. 
and then you get a little block that matches this one and it just sits on top and you keep it you give someone these pieces and get give them it'll take them a while just to pack this and then when they're done you hand them this block and tell them to pack it in two and that's exactly what they mean you can actually take these pieces out add another piece like this into the mix and still get it to seal up like this almost like a magic trick it's that math stuff again guys so <clears throat> math can be magical well all right thank you for uh spending time with me looking at all these uh cool puzzles and uh, I'll try to do more stuff like this, like I did the maze birds. But uh, just a quick one here, easy, just some fun. So uh, I'll check you guys out later. Thanks for watching.